What's up friends? I'm glad you stopped by again for another tutorial on how to. Today we're going to talk about this. Hold on. You know what I'm talking about, right? You've seen these? These work really well and they're amazing and really easy to set up. But, do you ever think about doing this? I know. That's a lot, right? You probably typed that in and you wanted to know. Multiple bass shakers. How do I do it? Why don't you hang in there? I'm going to show you right now. Let's go. So, you got your sim together. It's everything you dreamed of. It's got an amazing steering wheel. You got great pedals. Oh my god, and you downloaded all the video games. You're seeing everything, you're hearing everything, and you're having an amazing time, but you can't feel anything. I mean, you're not feeling the road, the rumbles, nothing. Guess what, boys? I'm gonna show you how to get all the feelings, every wheel independently, every curb, and even the engine noise. So let me take you through a tutorial of what you need, and how to assemble it, and finally, how to set it up. Let's go, boys. First, you'll need one to five bass shakers, or more if you choose. I like to use Dayton Audio. Then, you need three amplifiers. I like to use the Noob Sound Amazon Special. You'll need an external audio card, a few 3.5 millimeter jack cables, and a long USB cable. Of course, an extension cord, and some speaker wire. Please be aware, these are the items that I purchased. They're the length that I require for my rig. But always do your measurements first. You do not want to be returning 30,000 cables like I did. Start off by positioning the speakers at the extremities of your rig. I like mine as far out as possible from the center. I have a aluminum extrusion ring, so it's a little bit easier for me to attach plywood to it, and then the speakers are screwed into the plywood. Remember, you have to make a direct connection from the speakers to your rig. You have to transfer those vibrations. That's the whole purpose of this. As for the seat rumbler, I would attach that directly to my seat. Now hook up the amplifiers. Just to make it clear, each one of these amplifiers is also a independent sound card, which means if you hook it up with a USB to the back of your computer, it will do the whole job. It will be a sound card amplifier and it can run two rumblers on its own. The reason I'm using multiples, and you'll see in a moment, is because that is too many USBs at the back of my computer. So I'm using them purely as amplifiers. Now hook up the sound card. This is a specific 5.1 channel sound card. And what that means, it's literally six channels. As you can see, we have five speakers, so we need minimum of five channels. So having a 5.1 does the job. Of course, we'll need access to the back of our computer and a power strip. Now, let's move on to wiring. This should be pretty simple. Each amplifier can power two subwoofers. So red to red, black to black. They're usually labeled left and right, so try to keep some sort of order to how you wire them. Wire the seat amplifier, then let's move on to the rear right, and then the rear left. Now, we have them all wired up. Let's try to get sound to them. Each one of the holes on the front of the sound card depicts two channels. The first input is front, left, and right. The next one is rear, left, and right. And the third one is the center channel and the subwoofer. So each one of them provides two channels. And finally, power everything up and plug it all into the computer. I hope I don't have to mention, please don't use a high-speed USB at the back of your computer. Save that for something else that will need it. A regular USB will do. And now that we're all done, let's move on to setting up the new sound card in the computer. All right, go down to the bottom of your taskbar, right-click on the speaker, and go to Sounds. This little menu comes up, and go to Playback. Mine is already labeled as bass shakers. Here you will just see an item called USB sound card. I would go to properties and change the name just so that you know. I named mine bass shaker. This is not a step that you must take. But you must configure it. I have it configured as a 5.1 surround. That is, as I've explained before, two channels for the front, two channels for the rear, the center, and the subwoofer. Go next. Make sure to check in all these boxes to enable all the channels. Next again. I like to say that the full range speakers and finally finish. And there we have it boys. So now the sound card should work. Now that we got to this step, we need to set everything else up. I use SimHub. This is the one that everyone uses. In here, you'll have to select all of the games that you have. 
and looking on the left side go down the menu until you find shake it bass shakers click on it and go to sound output again mine is already set up so it's going to look a little bit odd but your new sound card will show up here and hopefully it will be named as you named it in the sound options you enable it and click the drop down menu yours will be set up as corners by default or left or right you have to click this last button which says custom channel map up to eight channels we know that we have six as I've described before and you can see them one two three four five six and then seven and eight I have renamed all of these by clicking on it and just making sure to understand clicking on the test now button and hopefully my microphone's picking this up I can feel where the vibrations are coming from and just by doing this I can tell which speaker is which so I named them accordingly then go down and make sure to activate these buttons or these are like little switches you basically turn them on if you want a specific sound effect to happen on this specific speaker I hope that makes sense at first all of this will be yellow for you everything will be turned on but you must really seclude them and specifically for example road rumble the curbing and all the road vibration we want the front left to be assigned to the front left as you can see if you follow this this name matches this name front right will be matched to front right and so on as we move to the left you can see it's the same thing the rear left matches the rear left the rear right matches the rear right for the seats you know you clearly just assign things that should happen from the engine or parameters that you get from the engine like engine vibration gear grinding gear shift etc so what I will do is scroll down this list right now and just let you see my settings feel free to pause and try to duplicate this where you could run into problems is assuming that your channels are exactly and identical to mine it is very possible that my front right is your left right just depending on how you set it all up so please make sure to test it and be certain of which bass shaker is which from there we go to the effects profile and guys I have to tell you this is a probably a video on its own all these are effects that are available uh, and they're clearly labeled and described they always have a drop down menu like this and for example if we go to engine parameters and vibrations you should always click this button called use separate output channel settings that means that it will enable it to go sp to specific channels as you've set up in the previous menu as I said there's a lot to talk about in these menus the only one that I can express to you that's that's quite important is this right here at times there's a conflict there's so much information coming to your sound rumblers that the computer has to take a priority and sometimes you might get a road impact but you might not get a curb rumble so you have to pick the one that needs priority for example road vibration if that's what you want to always feel you should click that to high priority and what that means is it will always take over any other signal that it gets so boys I really hope this makes sense I know this last part was quite rushed uh, again this needs a its own tutorial this is a complex program uh, and I'm very thankful to have found it and very thankful to those who created it I really hope you enjoy this I hope that it helps you out and uh, drop a comment below man I'm always curious to see if it worked out for you guys you know it took me watching quite a lot of videos to get to this point and I have to be thankful for all that I've learned out there but the information is always scattered in piecemeal so I really try to be thorough if I missed anything please let me know I will answer it I do have the knowledge because I've done it so many times but I might not think to explain it in a way that you guys need it so, all right, boys, enjoy your sim. See you soon.